Another Stacked Eagles now coming your way on this fine Thursday. Here's what we're covering on today's show. Have another Jalen Hurts injury update following practice at the NovaCare Complex. A positive Josh Wett development. Finally have a Lane Johnson update. It's been a little while since we heard about the Lane train and the rest of the Eagles injury news. First though, we're less than 900 people away from reaching another massive milestone here on Eagles now. This is my first season on the Eagles beat. I think we've been able to set records, really pump out some awesome content, and the fact that we're closing in on 40,000 subscribers is certainly humbling. And if you want Daily Eagles content, lock us in and subscribe. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed if you're coming across this show for the first time. And I'll show you why. We begin with Jalen Hurts. Practiced on Thursday with the Eagles. First time they were wearing pads in weeks. But here's the big concern for me. I understand that the Eagles are not going to play until next weekend after locking up that number one C, getting that first round by, but he wasn't even throwing in practice today. Is that because he's still sore after that shoulder injury that he suffered against the Bears? And then he played against the Giants and he's still not feeling even close to 100%. He did say and admit it's a good thing that there's a bye week this week. Not sure if he'd be able to play this week or not if that's what he meant. But either way, he does need that extra week of rest and he is cognizant of that and did not dismiss the notion that he might not be 100% throughout the NFL playoffs. Here's exactly what Jalen Hurts had to say about that sprained throwing shoulder. It's a good thing there's a bye week. I'm just taking it day by day. I think the whole world knows I'm dealing with something. I'm not sure if he's trying to get a competitive advantage here. I actually think that Hurts is, in fact, hurting. And depending on what happens with him and depending on what happens in the NFC wildcard round, there are a couple of possible Eagles opponents in which Jalen Hurts and the Eagles will be playing against. And hopefully it's one of the inferior opponents on this list where Jalen Hurts doesn't have to throw the football all that much and the Eagles can be a shoe in to win that divisional round game to give him yet another week to get right for the NFC Championship game. Here are the playoff scenarios for Philadelphia. They will play the Seahawks if they beat the 49ers because the Seahawks are the last seed in the NFC. They'll play the Giants for a third time if the Giants win against the Vikings and the Seahawks lose. A rematch with the Cowboys would be great after that Christmas Eve frustrating loss. They'll play Dallas if Dallas wins and the Giants and Seahawks lose. And then Tom Brady will come to Lincoln Financial Field if the Bucks win in addition to the Giants and Seahawks also losing. I'm still pretty confident, even though Jalen Hurts is injured, that the Eagles can advance to the NFC Championship game. If you agree with me, hit that thumbs up icon and like the video. This team is stacked, they're in a good spot, and the NFC is wide open. I think it's Philly and the 49ers on a collision course to play in the NFC title game. Now we go to the defensive side of the ball with Josh Wett. A couple of weeks ago, he was carted off the field with the neck injury and taken to the hospital after his neck was immobilized. Well, Crazy turnaround for him. Returned to practice today after sitting out last week. Said he expects to play despite being stretchered off on January 1st. Quote from Josh Schwett, I'm good. I'm going to play like I play. And with the Eagles' pass rush, it's been the backbone for this defense this year under Jonathan Gannon, the defensive coordinator. And it's been the backbone for a couple of Super Bowl champions throughout the history of the NFL, but also the last two years in today's pass-happy NFL. For me, the deciding factor in the last two Super Bowls was the opposition getting a pass rush on the other quarterback. And you look back at the last two Super Bowls. Last year, it was the Bengals and Joe Burrow against the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams sacked Joe Burrow, a Super Bowl record, seven times. And on that last drive, their pass rush gave the Rams the Super Bowl championship. The year before, a record in terms of quarterback pressures for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They harassed Patrick Mahomes all throughout that night with a record 29 pressures. And for Philadelphia, this has been their strength this year. The secondary and the, comp uh, the, the kind of complacent nature, I guess I should say, of this Eagles defense has been a little bit concerning. But one thing that we know is that the Eagles pass rush has been the best in the NFL with their sack production. To have 70 sacks in a single season is wild. 
to be 15 sacks ahead of the next best team is also crazy. 70 sacks for Philadelphia, 15 more than the next best team in the NFL. And Josh Sweat has certainly been a big part of that. A career year for him for the former mid-round pick out of Florida State whose NFL career was in question coming out of the college ranks because of his ACL injury that he suffered in high school and the knee issues that he suffered throughout his college tenure. He was the number one overall player in high school, and then he goes to Florida State. Good sack production, but what a great pick for Howie Roseman to bet on his upside. That upside has come to fruition this year. First time in his NFL career has had double-digit sacks with 11, 23 quarterback hits, 15 tackles for loss, and 43 pressure. So to have him opposite and on the field with a guy like Hassan Reddick, who also set a career high, Javon Hargrave, who set a career high, and Brandon Graham, who set a career high, this Eagles defensive line and their pass rush can determine the outcome of a game. And because we're talking about some Eagles defensive players, who is your favorite Eagles defensive player of all time? For me, I like to point this out a lot because there's only one answer for me. It's the guy who's the background on my phone. That is number 20, the great Brian Dawkins, a.k.a. Weapon X. Now, Philadelphia Eagles now is presented by a brand new sponsor that we're really stoked to have, especially me here at Chat Sports. It is Geology, and they have the best deal that any skincare company has to offer. Geology is a 16-time award-winning skin, hair, and body care company recognized in Men's Health, GQ, and Esquire. Geology creates simple and effective skin skin care and hair care routines customized just for the Fly Eagles Fly family with ingredients that are proven to work. Right now for a limited time only, they are hooking you up with an insane offer. If you use our code chatsports70 at chatsports.com slash geology or use our QR code that we're going to show you here momentarily, they will give you an exclusive 70% off of their award-winning skincare trial set. Skincare, when you think about it, shouldn't feel like a gamble, and Geology is the best in the skincare game. Geology helps you fight acne, reduce oiliness, prevent wrinkles, have smoother, hydrated skin, and puts an end to dark or puffy under eyes, and they take care of all of your bathroom needs. I've been using Geology's face wash in the mornings, what I love is their dark and puffy under eye cream because I have very sensitive eyes thanks to my family history and the retinal night cream before going to bed and my skin after I just turned 31 looking and feeling great. Who needs plastic surgery when you have geology? And in the shower, geology body washes are free of harsh ingredients that smell great and are refillable. After my mom passed away from cancer, I became very cognizant of the chemicals that I put in and on my body. So head to chatsports.com slash geology. Use the QR code here on your screen. Chatsports70 is the code. Link is in the comment section and the description of this video for an astounding deal of 70% off. Once again, that link in the comment section and the description of this video, award-winning skincare from Geology. To the rest of the Eagles injury report, A.J. Brown did not practice here on Thursday. It was more of a rest day, but he did have a sleeve on his calf. Robert Quinn also did not practice. More of a maintenance day for the grandpa on this Eagles defense. Also coming back from that knee injury. Lane Johnson did not practice either. That's expected because of that core injury. And Avante Maddox with the toe, also a DNP. But there is good news and positive news on the Lane Johnson injury front. We haven't had a an update on him in a little while. And and Lane Johnson, he was seen on the practice field. He was seen also moving really well. He tore his abductor against the Cowboys on Christmas Eve, and he decided to hold off on surgery until after the playoffs. We know that the Lane train is an extremely tough dude. He's battled through a lot of injuries throughout his NFL career, and we also know that the Eagles are a completely different team with him on the field as compared to him off the field. They are 13-22. and 22 two, I believe, in games that Lane Johnson does not play. Goes to show you his impact in the NFL. Players Association did vote him as the first team all-pro right tackle in the NFL, so he also has the respect of his peers. And when you look at the numbers for Lane Johnson here in 2022, this guy hasn't given up a sack 
since the 2021 season. And it was in the early going of the 2021 season when he surrendered that sack. And that's really impressive when you think about the mobility for Jalen Hurts because sometimes mobile quarterbacks get sacked even more. But for Lane, he's holding it down as an anchor on that right side of the line of scrimmage. Total snaps, 972. 551 pass blocking snaps. Six penalties. Zero sacks allowed. Zero hits allowed. And nine total pressures. And with Jalen Hurts, dealing with this sprained shoulder, him not even throwing the football at practice on Thursday, the protection of Hurts is even more important now. And that's why it's imperative for Lane Johnson to be on the field. Even if he's at 80%, that's better than basically every single right tackle out there. So let's hope that Lane Johnson can continue to recover. So which team do you want the Eagles to face in the next round? Let us know down in the comment section. We broke down the scenarios a little bit earlier, but which team would you prefer the Eagles to play in the next round, the divisional round of the NFL playoffs? Let us know down in the comment section because we always appreciate hearing from you. And also, feel free to interact with me on Twitter and Instagram at Chase underscore Senior. For those of you who don't know, I grew up in Westchester just outside of Philly, went to Temple University, loved this football team, and I love the Philadelphia Brethren. And all my Philadelphia sisters out there, so feel free to hit me up on those social media platforms.